Hey guys, welcome to vdcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss units of measurement of angles. So, in this video we are going to discuss this topic under three different sections. So, coming to the first section where we are going to deal with the introduction part and in the second section we are going to deal with units of measurement of angles and in the last part we are going to deal with few examples. So, Coming to the first part, let us learn what is an angle. Let us know what is a line. So, a line is a set of points in a plane and it doesn't have any end points. So, here you can able to see a line and it doesn't have any end points. So, we can extend this line from both the sides. And now, let us name this line as A and B. So symbolically, we, we can represent the line AB as AB line. And then coming to the ray. So a line with its dividing point or one end point is called ray. So here, this is a line and this is the end point is a ray which can be extended from only one side. So now let us name this ray as CD. So we can represent this ray as CD ray. And this is the symbol to represent ray. And now, in order to represent a line segment AB with two endpoints, we can write this as AB line segment. And now, coming to the angle. So, a join or intersection of two rays having a common endpoint gives angle. So, here, these two rays intersect at a common point and this point is called as vertex and let us name it as O and here an angle is formed so here this is called as an angle so angles are classified into three types so an angle ranging between 0 degrees and 90 degrees then such angle is called as acute angle and where the two rays intersect each other perpendicularly forming an angle of 90 degrees. So here we can say that an angle of 90 degrees is called as right angle and an angle ranging between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Then such angle is called as obtuse angle and the angle formed by a straight line will be equal to 180 degrees and a complete angle that is a rotating ray completes one complete rotation then the angle formed will be equal to 360 degrees so hence these are the types of angles so now let us proceed and discuss units of measurement of angles so units of measurement of angles are discussed under three known systems they are sexagesimal system centesimal system and a radian or a circular system so coming to the first system so this system is named as sexagesimal because the division is made into 60 equal parts and now let us discuss this briefly so if a rotation from the initial side to the terminal side is 1 by 360th of 1 revolution then the angle is said to have a measure of 1 degree it is denoted by 1 degree and in this system this degree is divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called as 1 minute it is denoted as 1 minute and each minute is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called as 1 second so it is briefly written as one right angle is equal to 90 degrees and then one degree will be equal to 60 minutes and one minute will be equal to 60 seconds. So this system is a sexagesimal because the division is made into 60 equal parts. And then coming to the centesimal system. So in this system, a right angle is divided into 100 equal parts. And each part is called as grade. So a grade is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is called as a minute. 
and a minute is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is called as a second. Thus, one right angle will be equal to 100 grades and one grade will be equal to 100 minutes and then one minute will be equal to 100 seconds and then coming to the radian measure. So first, let me define what is a radian. So a radian is defined as the angle subtended by an arc of length equal to the radius of the circle at its center. So first, let us consider a circle with center O and the radius R. And then take an arc of the circle whose length will be same as the radius R of the circle. Then a radian is an angle subtended by an arc of length. So thus, radian is a unit of angle measurement and is denoted by 1c. Here, the radian measure is also called as circular measure as it is related to the circle. And note that radian is not dependent on the radius of the circle. And now let us proceed and discuss few examples on these systems. So first, here given example is 270 degrees which is to be converted into centesimal system and a radian measure. So first, let us convert 270 into centesimal system. So in order to convert, we have to multiply 270 into 100 G by 90. And here by simplifying, we get 91 times is 90 and 93 times is 270. And then by multiplying, we get here 300 G, which is the centesimal measure of 270 degrees. Now let us convert 270 degrees into radian measure. So in order to convert this into radian measure, we have to multiply 270 into pi c by 180. And here by simplifying, we get 92 times is 180 and 93 times is 270. So here we get 3 pi c by 2, which is the radian measure of 270 degrees. So hence we get 3 pi c by 2 as the radian measure of 270 degrees, whereas 300 g under centesimal system. And now let us consider an another example that is 3 pi c by 4 which is under radian measure. So now let us convert this into sexagesimal system. So in order to convert, let us multiply 3 by 4 into pi c which is nothing but 180 degrees. And here by simplifying we get 135 degrees as the measure under sexagesimal system. And then now let us convert this into centesimal system. So in order to convert, we have to multiply 3 by 4 into 100 g by 90. And here by simplifying, we get 100 g by 120. So thus, 3 pi c by 4 is converted into sexagesimal system and also centesimal system. So this was the basic introduction on units of measurement of angles. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.